Hey guys, my name is April Holly Smith and I'm about to do a chatty vlog, a little bit different than what maybe you're used to. We'll sit down and have a conversation. I've got mine. Why don't you get yours? Let's chat. Oh, so, I feel like, uh, so for real, I just put the chicken in. I'm filming a chicken video. Chicken. Um, and I'm just sitting down, and I'm literally having a moment of peace. Why am I having a moment of peace? It is, I don't know what time it is. It's like 8.30 in the morning. Chris is still asleep. The girls are outside. Hallelujah. Uh, so let's talk about them kids. Um, oh, and I put the I put ten pounds of chicken leg quarters in the oven to cook because that's the way my time is going to work out today for what I need to get done. Um, the kids. All right, I'll get back to that since I started that. Um, I'm going to tell you this as as a parent. I feel like I am. Doesn't everybody feel like they are just not doing a good enough job well I feel like I finally put in some work and I'm gonna be winning as a parent over the last say five days every day when the kids get up they're not allowed out until like 10 a.m. because they're wild and I said okay all right it's before 10 a.m. as soon as your room is clean you can go outside and so they have been outside at like 7:45. 8 a.m., 8.30. I think they were out at 8.15 this morning. So, uh, and I think they're also learning that once you do the big clean, subsequent cleans are much easier. Because every morning, now it's like, is your room clean? And they go, oh, you're big cleaning. They only had to do like two things. They had to put like a piece of, um, ooh, did I just get a package? Heck yeah. Amazon delivery. Ooh, I wonder what that is. <gasps> Let's go check right now. It's like live TV. Amazon. Gosh. I'm trying to, th oh, this is probably for my mom. Let's see. It's so exciting. Look, she was sneaky and hit it in a sneaky place. Smart lady. This is for my mom, poop. My mom ordered um, knitting supplies. Darn it. <sighs> Don't just get sticky. Okay, so anyway, this is knitting supplies. Hear it? I'm like, that sounds like pills. <laughs> it's not. It's, um, they're stitch markers, but she ordered them in a, they come in a case. They look like, um, I always think of at Home Depot that people get for like their screws and nuts. It has a lid. It closes with like has six compartments and they look like light bulbs is what they look like. They're like safety pin. They have a squeeze and they go on. There's like 200 pieces. She'll be so excited to hear that they're there, that they're here. She got that and something else because she had to come over and we ordered it together. I don't even remember. I don't know. Point is, this is her package, so it's not very exciting for me. I was like, ooh, something for me. Because, you know, like, you only get the stuff that you order, right? <laughs> anyway, um, I do feel successful with the kids because they are um, cleaning their room every day. And usually that place is a hot friggin' mess. Like, unbelievable. So, my mom powers are are being honed, and probably next week I'm going to introduce a second hurdle. I'm going to make sure that they're going to have to have the living room in order, because right now, how this is, can you see that pillow there? I'm trying not to spill my coffee. Right there? Yeah, that's not supposed to be, that's a couch cushion. And then they also have things kind of wrecked over here. See, they've got a nest built here. <clears throat> They're gonna have to have all that stuff like right so that I can 
have a functional eating room. Because also lately, I've just come to the, the conclusion that, dude, I have this whole living room, I have a giant TV, giant TV, I never get to watch. The kids monopolize it all the time, and I'm like, no, 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 this is my living room, I'm going to live in my living room, I'm going to do stuff. So, I have my little, this is a coffee table, it's an end table, I believe that, so, hey, do you guys want to hear a fun fact about this? So, you've met my mom, right? Yes. So this was the first real piece of furniture she ever bought, and she gave it to me. It's not always, it's not my favorite. It's early American, so it's like very like 1970s, like brown couch. But it is like heavy duty. It is, it is sturdy as heck. And the kids have totally got nail polish on it and like other things that are like it's not an heirloom piece of furniture, so it's like, nobody needs to be mad like that. But it's like, you know, we could have nice things, guys. Because this is like a heavy piece of furniture. It's got that de-stressed look, because <clears throat> it's from the 70s. Um, but my computer, and look, my planner fit on it perfectly while I watch my YouTube instructional videos. So I've been really enjoying that. Oh gosh, I think the kids are coming. Hey, Mom. Hi, say hi. What do you we need? Playing with you got some gum? Yeah. Two pieces. What's under your chin? Why is it so dirty? Go go clean that. Uh -huh. I'm seven now. That's right. Who when was your birthday? Um, like two days ago. Yeah. Uh oh, I hear the other one coming. So anyway, <clears throat> I've just decided to move into my own space. Mama! What are you? What? No! The bubble? Oh, pretty good. I, I, I feel like you're getting so big, kiddo. Ooh. Mama? Yes? Um, why is this out? Because somebody had it on the floor upstairs. Mmm. So the kids went out. So anyway, um, like I said, I'm feeling successful with the kids and how that's going. Um, I have started back with my planner because there was like a gap in the planning because you know, like pandemic stuff. Like guys, did you just really have like a huge blip in like everything in life? I mean, still, I suppose it's happening because we're not working a regular schedule at work still, like with Chris. Um, they split everybody onto, uh, from like two shifts to three to distance them. Uh, so we are on second shift and then we're not on first shift anymore, like, which is totally changing our lives, right guys? Um, and it's been like two months. It's been a long time. It's been long enough for us to adjust to the schedule. And I'm a little worried that if we go back to first shift, how that's going to look for us. I do think about some things like if we go back to first shift, like everyone's going to leave the house in the morning and I will be alone. <sighs> but then like I stay up at night now and I have my personal time alone and I'm like, I don't know if I want to lose that. I don't know. I don't know. I got, I'm not sure. I don't, I almost don't want to have super hard feelings about it one way or the other because I don't get a choice it just it's what's gonna happen so like other people make that choice so I have to live with it so I, I don't want to be like in a bad place about it so anyway um but I am like back on the planner wagon it you know it's in July ish back to school time is when Michaels has a huge planner sale so I got my new planner um, and it is super, okay, so I'm going to show it to you because I'm excited about it. This is what I got. I'm going to tell you, it's given me late 70s, early 80s vibes. <gasps> Stay happy, girl. Stay happy. It's, it's, yeah, do you see that it's like 
got holographic foily stuff on it and it's got this rainbow disc hold on the fact that they're plastic I'm super into the rainbow so everything rainbow right now so um I've been like moving into the new planner which always takes time and because I do love the rainbow so stinking much I ordered the rainbow metal expander discs because also that that's a this is a classic and it has not the mini discs but the medium ones which is like the standard size and then they have these big expander ones and I've been living my life in some big metal expander ones and guess what guys I just had to order the rainbow metal expanders because I can't live in this one. I need to Franken plan. Now all my stuff from the old planner has gone, will fit into this one. I don't, I'm just not, I'm not moved into it completely. I haven't blended the old stuff with the new stuff and I need to do that. But I've been watching a lot of planner stuff on the YouTubes and it's really making me happy. Let me show you. What I'm going to show you is like three different weeks and you're going to be like, oh yeah, you're going to be able to see the difference in my planning because I've been learning a lot from the, from the YouTubes. Here we go. This is last week's and it's, it's fun, but you know, and then here we're going to turn over. This is my current week. Do you see the improvement in the colors? Ooh, I had a bunch of washi. Okay. Here's next week. This one is like my favorite so far. Because I'm totally into the rainbows. It's kind of amazing, huh? Good times. Anyway, so really just, this is just giving me all the feels right here, guys. I donut kill my vibe. Love that. So that's one of the things I've just been back to planning. And I'm going to tell you that that 100%, even when I'm home 100% of the time, which... I mean, that's me. I don't work out of the home at this point. So, um, but you know what it does? It really like organizes my thoughts, gives me a place to, to brain dump and to, for that to catch. And when I brain dump, brain dump is when you just write down everything, whether it's like in order or makes sense, just everything that you remember that you need to do or fill in whatever. And then I can put it in the right place. And none of it gets forgotten and that is the best so I've just been really I've been really enjoying the organization and the focus and the not forgetting of things that using my planner again brings um, also it makes me feel really productive and really on task and also it does this for me it's like the Dave Ramsey budget when you know you have the budget and it tells you you can only spend this much on whatever is actually the structure is freeing so it's like yes I've done this but then I know I'm done and now I can have free time and I don't have to feel guilty or like I should be doing something else or if I do choose to do something extra because I have the energy to do it I mark off something for something that's gonna happen tomorrow or the day after and I get credit for it love that concept it really works for me so <clears throat> yeah also another thing um, obviously I got my phone fixed my audio IC input was failing on and that was on the board the motherboard of the phone <clears throat> there's only one guy that does it at the place to get my phone fixed so got the phone on Wednesday took it in made an appointment on Wednesday because my my phone was you know intermittently failing things were not right I knew things weren't right it was to the point where it was recording no sound at any time also it was at no point could I I could hear phone calls coming in but nothing could be heard going out and then after a while like a day there was the phone would ring I know I was getting a phone call could hear nothing coming in or out people couldn't hear me I couldn't hear them it was it was nothing it was very intermittent for like two weeks and then it just went down so Wednesday take it in and the lady she's she's the lady that's always there she's like the lady that that does the stuff 
um, she gets the phone and she's like, I don't understand. It's not working. And I'm like, oh, it does this and it does this. And you, know, you call people and you, they can't hear you. She calls and of course it works 100%. And I was like, didn't work. So this is a secret. Um, Lily broke her fire tablet. I mean, we kind of, you know, when you buy a hundred dollar tablet for like a five year old, come on now, you know, things happen. So we have not told her that we're fixing it. We've told her that it's just broken and she's, so she's experiencing the pain of loss, which she needs to do, but we took it in and they also fix things like that, like computer screens, um, like they do micro soldering, all those like circuit boardy stuff. Um, anyway we took it in and dropped that off dropped like two phones that had like screen problems and just like some older stuff that was really rather cheap to get repaired because it's like obsolete out of date so she fixed one phone for us like put a new battery in it <clears throat> the other one needs like a screen and some other stuff it was it was like over a hundred dollars to fix but it was super cheap still compared to like buying a new phone so and the, the goal is to have the kids be able to play with those, uh, you know, without, like, it being my $700 phone. It can be, like, their, like, $100 thing that they can practice taking care of with, you know, like, training them. Also, they can do things like make FaceTime calls and stuff over the Wi-Fi to their little friends in the neighborhood. You know, safe things. So, um, drop that stuff off come back the next day Thursday picked up the phone that because that was done and then I'm like hey listen the phone is totally screwed up like it's I'm like here try it again and and a hundred percent it did everything that it was it, it or it failed in every way as it has been when I've been using it she goes okay so this is definitely the audio I see input um it's it's not one component because it's actually multiple components that seem to be failing and that means it's not like all those components are not failing at the same time it's this this one piece that controls all of that fun fact if your audio ic goes out your input it can affect your ability to get wi-fi and i'm like but uh she said that this is actually a very common issue in the seven pluses i don't have a seven plus i have just a seven so um she's like okay Here's the deal. That is a board repair. There's only one guy that does the board stuff. He's in Aurora at our Aurora store 100% or like every day, except Wednesdays. And he comes down here on Wednesdays. And I'm like, I can't have my phone. It's like Thursday. I was just in here on a, on a Wednesday. Of course. So I made an appointment for the next Wednesday for him to work on my phone. So I went a whole week with my phone just really being wonky. Um, went in two hours later dude's got it all fixed amazing things are working clearly I'm talking to you and you're hearing me but of course over the time that the phone was not working I filmed um a video about the 10 pound leg quarters the red bags of like what I do with that how it what it looks like how I process it because um is a great deal if you know what you're getting into but if you don't know what you're getting into it can be like really overwhelming or a lot and uh, and then I made like chicken broth like there was like two or three steps to it and I think once I got through like the third day of chicken broth I was like there is no sound on any of this and that was part of the reason that I was like I've got to get this fixed right so I'm redoing all of that so like for another week we're having a ton of chicken which is not Chris's favorite he will eat chicken but it is like he's like we've had a lot of chicken lately so got chicken in the oven this morning because that's how my life's fit uh working out so that's just the quick and dirty update I know this is like 20 minutes of me just but sometimes isn't it nice to have a little coffee chat coffee talk coffee chat um you know, like if we were sitting at the kitchen table, having a moment, having something to drink. Also, it seems like everyone's like into doing the Halloween stuff right now. I know. Um, my prog cup's just in the dishwasher. I still use it all the time because I love it so much. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to wrap up for now. Hopefully, the kids will stay outside and I'll have time to do another one of these very soon. 
it's nice to have like a brain to like be functional and have some time to do this so all right guys i'll check with you later bye